Howdy, and welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. Today, I'm going to do an unboxing and setup of the Spy Point Micro LTE camera. This camera is their 2019 model. They do have a new 2020 model that has a solar panel attached. I think it's called the Link Micro S LTE or something like that. The reason I bought this one was it was on sale for $100. It's normally $150. And the one with the solar panel is $200. Also, I wanted to compare this with the Tacticam Reveal camera, which is right around $100 as well. And so I'm going to end up having another video a little bit later that shows me unboxing and setting up the Tacticam Reveal, as well as having a video near the end of the season this year that will have a comparison of both the cameras together with side-by-side -side day and night pictures, how long the battery lasted, you know, things like that to help me decide on what camera I want to use going forward. I've been interested in using cell cameras for a while now. The reason I haven't been is the price point. And so that's kind of why I was going with these two cameras was for a cell camera around hundred dollars is not bad at all. I really didn't want to spend $350, $400 for a cell camera. Especially if you plan on putting some of these out on public land, you really don't want to risk losing a three or $400 camera. I've never used spy point cameras, but I've heard a lot of great things about them. This will be my first one. One of the cool things that I like is you don't even need a data plan to get it set up. You basically get a hundred free pictures every single month without having to pay any sort of monthly fee. So that's kind of cool. Also their monthly fee, if you pay for the year, they give you a discounted rate and it's only $10 for unlimited pictures, which I think is actually relatively cheap compared to a lot of other cell cameras and other plans you can see out on the market. So this camera can take 10 megapixel pictures. It has color day photos and infrared night photos. Its detection range and flash range are up to 80 feet. The trigger speed is half a second. It takes eight AA batteries, which I have here, and a 32 gigabyte micro SD card as well. What's pretty cool too is supposedly from the app, you can configure all the settings and everything you need on the camera. So if you start to see your battery dying or you're not liking the setup you have, you can just jump into your phone and change it real quickly. So let's go ahead and get started unboxing this. So not much really comes in the box here. You have the camera itself, a tree strap, and the manual. Pretty simple. To give you an idea of the size of this camera, I'll hold it up next to my phone here. You kind of see, you know, it's, it's pretty small and compact, which I really like. So we'll go ahead and open it up. So it has a note about a removable battery compartment and the batteries needed. And then a little note about the Spy Point app you can get on the App Store or Google Play Store. So it looks like you can pull out this little battery pack here so that you have your batteries on both sides. I also believe you can buy a lithium rechargeable battery or hook it up to a 12 volt battery pack as well. So if you don't end up using this, you can replace it with a rechargeable battery in here. Your SIM card is right up here in the back as well. It has the instructions for powering it on and off, which I think is kind of cool on the inside. You don't have to get your manual out or have to look it up on the internet. You just look right here and it tells you what's going on. So this little orange or yellow thing on the back looks like it's just an antenna holder. I'm going to leave it on there for now. And then it also has a little antenna holder here. If I can take it off, there you go. So that now you can move it. First, you have to activate your camera. You do that by downloading the Spy Point app. Once you have it downloaded, you go to cameras, you click the plus button, select your device. This would be Link Micro LTE. Click next. So I'm not sure if it'll let me do it with a screen share. We'll try it, but you can scan in your barcode here, your SIM card. 
And then it'll ask you if you've been referred, if you have a promo code. I'll just go click to activate device. And so now you should see it pop up here at the top. What's kind of cool is you get a 30 day free trial as well. So what you should do is before you go put it out and test it, just go ahead and set it up the day before or so, so you get the full 30 days of the unlimited transmission plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the batteries. Make sure you put this in correctly. This part should be facing down here and go in just like that. I'm gonna install the SIM card. That just goes right here up at the top left. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this to on. You wanna go ahead and open up the app again. So you can see there's a green light blinking there. That means it's searching for a signal. Your red light means no signal. The orange light means fair signal and a solid green light means good signal. So now you can see I have a green solid light and the red light is blinking here. That blinking red light gives you 30 seconds before it's gonna start taking pictures. The little thing next to it is your light sensor. Then here you have the camera itself your LEDs for the infrared, and then your motion sensor is this up here. So we'll go ahead and go into the app now. So it's pretty cool. You can go in here and you can check your status. It tells you your signal, your battery strength, how much space you have on the SD card, the last time it communicated, the temperature, and then it tells you about the model, installation, SIM number, firmware version, all that stuff. So I'll go back. So then you come over here to photos and it hasn't taken any pictures yet. So there's nothing there. If you click species up here at the top, if you subscribe their hundred dollars a year program, it'll, it's software will separate out the different types of species here, which is pretty cool, but I don't know if I want to pay the hundred bucks a, a year on that yet. You also have a full HD option. So when it transmits the photos to you, they're not in full HD, but you can purchase some so that you can pick and choose which photos you want sent in HD. You still get full HD photos on your SD card. It's just not using that data to send it to your phone. It looks like it already took a picture of me. So if you become a member, you can have favorites as well here. So then let's go to the plans. So you can kind of see the plans here. Here's your monthly billing plans. Like I said, if you do the free option, you get 100 photos per month. You can also see the year, yearly billing amount. As I mentioned, it's only $10 a month for their premium unlimited plan. Now we'll get into the settings here. So if you go to the basic, this has photo mode only. And then you can go to your delay this is the time in between pictures. All these settings are going to change your battery life here. So if you don't have the solar panel or it's not hooked up to an additional battery pack, you just need to be aware of that. So I have it set on 10 seconds. It can take up to two photos in a burst. So I have it set on two. Then the sensitivity I have on medium. You know, let's click save. And you'll go to the cellular setup. So the first transfer time is the first time of the day that it's going to send you a picture. So it's set up here at 8 a.m. It looks like you can just, it looks like you can put it pretty much wherever you want. So if you don't want it sending pictures while you're sleeping, you don't have to do that. When I'm out hunting or closer to season, I may change this so it'll send some. So I have it when I wake up and see if anything was there. You can change the transfer frequency, but like I mentioned, if you do each detection or some of these other ones, it may kill your battery a lot quicker trying to transfer all these photos. So we'll do six times per day. And then it has an option to take a photo at the next transfer. So then we'll click save there. You'll go to the advanced configuration. So here you can change the date format, temperature units. You can set up a schedule of when you want the camera on and off your power source. So like I mentioned, you can do a lithium battery or 12 volt. Your trigger speed, I have as optimal. You can put it as fast if you want. 
again, but that's going to affect your battery life. And then quality I have is high. It does affect your battery life, but I figured you want to have high quality there. And then you can restore the default settings if you want to do that. So there are some other cool options it looks like in the app that aren't necessarily available yet. They have a map section, which I believe is probably going to be where you can get the GPS location of your camera so you know exactly where you place them. And then a weather section, again, not available yet, but it looks like it'll just tell you the weather for the day. So there you have it. It seems like the app works pretty well. It's pretty easy to set up. It took me maybe five or 10 minutes to do that. So I really like the fact that it's pretty seamless setting up and getting your cellular service set up as well. As you can see, it already kind of transferred a picture over to me, so I know it works. I'm gonna be putting this out in the woods tomorrow and I'm gonna write down the date and time of when I set it out there so that I can see how long the battery lasts. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in the unboxing and setup of the Tacticam reveal, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you'll get an update of when that video comes out. If you're interested in my comparison of the two cameras as well, I'll do that probably a month or so from now just to make sure I get some good photos from both cameras as well. Hope you enjoyed this video and give me a thumbs up. Thanks.